الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحبة It's not a mystery to any of us that we all have various difficulties and trials and tribulations in our lives. And all of us as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala realize we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But sometimes our desires and our sins become obstacles for us to get closer to our Lord. And to advance ourselves or surpass those obstacles that are placed before us in our lives, whether it be our, our risk, our provisions, whether it be issues with our families, whether it be sicknesses and, and all kind of trials and tribulations that we face as human beings. Ayu al Habba, one thing that we do know, and it's imperative to go back to Kitabillah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and also to realize Ayu al Habba that the affairs of the believer, all of it is good. All of it is good, especially if they deal with those situations with Iman, with the faith in Allah. That they allow the difficulties that befall them to be a means for them to come closer to their Lord. And they allow the times when, when they are at ease to be a time for them to be thankful and come closer to their Lord. So always the mu'min is striving to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing righteous deeds. And this is the real tawassal, ya ayu al habba. Tawassal is not going to the graves and supplicating to the graves and asking them because you feel that you have sins and you're not pure enough to bring you closer to Allah. But true tawassal is tawassal by drawing nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through your own righteous deeds by doing good and supplicating to Allah and mentioning those good things that you did for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and mentioning those evil things that you left for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to draw nearer to Him subhanahu that's one form of tawassal ayu al habba so the mu'min is always striving to draw near and let's hear how the believer is and why the affair of the believer is good. An Suhaib ibn Sanan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ajiban li amr al-mu'min inna amrahu kulluhu lahu khair wa laysa dhalik li ahlin illa lil mu'min إن أصابته سراء شكر فكان خيرا له وإن أصابته ضراء صبر فكان خيرا له رواه مسلم. In this hadith in Sahih Muslim that was narrated by Suhaib bin Sinan رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said strange the affair of the believer. And uh, verily, all of his affairs are good. And that is not the case for anyone except the mu'min, except the believer. He said, if something difficulty or a, uh, if something, uh, if something uh, good befalls him, you know, he gains some good, then he is thankful. And that is better for him. And if something, some difficulty or trial befalls him, he is patient and that is better for him. And that is narrated in Muslim. In this hadith, this illustrates Ayu al Habba, the point we were making is that to be thankful to Allah, to draw near to Allah during times of difficulty and times of ease. And Ayu al Habba, how do we draw near to Allah in times of ease? By being thankful and by worshiping Him with alm, with fiqh, and basira, with insight and knowledge and fearing Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the times when Allah has bestowed wealth upon you, when in the times that Allah has bestowed health upon you, 
and during the times that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with time to do good. So use it for good. This is how you show your thankfulness. And ayu al habba likewise, that when you are in a time of difficulty and you are being tested with something, tested with your wealth, tested with your property, tested with your families, that you are patient by not uh, complaining and not sinning, get, getting into sinfulness due to the trial that has befallen you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to practice this and to be patient with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree and to be of those people who are the shakirin who are uh, thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they are given and when they are bestowed uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful bounties. And may Allah bless us with ilm nafi, rizqan tayyibu, amana mutaqabila. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our rizq and bless us with khair and bless us in our health and our wealth and bless our families everywhere and bless the Muslims everywhere and guide the non-Muslims to Islam, to the beauty of Islam and unite the world community based on kitab Allah, wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.